Rydell's right. Need a lift? Hey, name's Tess. Heard you might be a good person to call for a cheap ride. I'll hit you with the address on where I'm heading. No sweat. Be there soon. Yeah, I was like, yo, bro. And yo, check this, bro. He was all like, if you know, you know, bro. And you know what I said? <laughs> bro! Yeah, hi. Um, Tess? Yo! Yo, I'm running a little late, so if you could, uh... I got you. What? Do you have a pet chinchilla or like a... Possum or something? Um, no. Why? Really? No reason. I'm just gonna crack this window. So, what's this address? Headed to this empty lot off the underpass. You know it? That was an old meetup spot for local street racers. Oh, you race? Or something like that. Anyways, cops have that spot pretty locked down now. <laughs> the scene's about to get a big shakeup from what I hear. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. If you know, you know, and I know, bro. So what's up? You're in the racing scene, but you don't have a car? Real G's get rides. I also like being on time. Yo, does this thing go any faster? Five stars, great conversation. Hey, you should stick around. Might be worth your while. Oh yeah, thanks for the advice. I've not seen this many racers in one place in a minute. Brought everyone back out. The love of racing, bruh. The need to express oneself behind the wheel. And money also. Yeah, probably money. I forgot how much I missed this. <laughs> I can see why. I'm gonna do the rounds, figure out what's up. Thanks for the lift, Speedy. That's my car. Yes? All right, all right, focus up. Let's go. I'm glad to see y'all showed up. How many years has it been for real? 
The man cracks down a little bit and we all bitch out? I thought this was Lakeshore. I thought this was a racing scene. Flex in with your super tuners and your muscle cars. That guy. Woo. What's it gonna take, huh, to remind you why we got into this? Stacks. Nailed it. Three qualifiers, high risk. You have a run-in with the cops, you take them on. You make it, and I will see you in the finals. The Lakeshore Grand. You want to win? Then you had better be the best. stars I got you people who wear bow ties with sneakers those are the real criminals oh that one shook us this much oh it's like being punched by a kitten They shook us off. A just vanished somewhere at Douglas Park. This punk is in the area. They have to be. Keep looking for them. I was sensing some hostility between you and Miss Monologue back there. That what you saw back there, that's my car that she's driving. Weird. Looked like her car. That she was driving. She even had the front to keep the license plate. We thought Rydell hears this. Who? Oh, he, uh... He runs a garage. This garage? Is it nearby? I'm thinking now's a good time for us to get off the street. Yeah, no kidding. Honest. So, gotta ask. Was she always like that? Like what? Trying so hard? Look, that ain't the as I know, but it's been a while. It. Rydell's rides. Not bad. I think could use a little work. <laughs> so, this is where Yaz started off, huh? Get the hell out of my shop! Wasn't me. Whoa, whoa. Kid? You triggered the alarm, sister. Hey, no touching. Sorry, this is Tess. Almost took your hair off. Nice to meet you, Slugger. Right on. I saw Jasmine. She just rolled up at this meetup. You kidding? She still had the car. And she's still with that same crew that jacked our garage, setting up some high stakes circuit called the Lakeshore Grand. <laughs> Corny. With our car. I need to beat her. I need the garage. I need your help. Hold well, on, kid. Now, let's say you do this, okay? And you throw down with Jasmine, and you beat her in a street race. So what? So what? That's what this garage was about. Now look at this place. We're fine. This yours? Didn't I say no touching? Mr. Rides of Rydell's Rides. Love that name, by the way. Full disclosure. I went to that meetup tonight looking for a racer. Then the cops showed up and I was like, cops. <laughs> oh yeah. And the kid was crazy fast outrunning him. Now, I'm thinking, learn from the best. Listen, I got what you need, cash. And you two got what I want, a reason to win. How about I make an investment in this garage, rep you in the race, maybe open some doors. Come on, Rydell. I can win. We can bring this place back. I'm in. Woohoo! Just promise me. 
no matter what Jasmine does, you do it the right way. Deal? Deal. So, Rydell, got any rides out back? Welcome to Rydell's Rides. <laughs> <laughs> I have some customers looking for a delivery that could help us earn some cash before the next race. Nice. Judging by this place, you used to race yourself. Oh, I sure did. Man, do I have some stories about the old days. <laughs> oh, I bet. I have you know I used to run these streets. Oh, so you ran? On foot, I see. That's what street racing was like before the car was invented, huh? <laughs> Why don't you worry about getting this team funded? Want to catch up about the scene. Is this gonna be another one of those we did things differently when I used to race type of calls? Hey, back in the day, winning wasn't a be all and end all. So it is one of those calls. I used to race against this real loud mouth. Funny, I can relate. Whole race just wouldn't shut up. So one day I throw down some stacks, called them out, told them let's race for more than just bragging rights. How about next month's rent? Oh, shit. What'd he do? Put his money where his trash talking mouth was. After that, side bets became the norm in the scene. Damn, Rydell. Remember, though, know your opponent. Don't be thinking you're better than you are. Fast way to lose a lot of money. Got it, Rydell. Thanks, boss. Appreciate you.
dispatch. We got eyes on that laser. You red flagged? That suspect vanished somewhere in Palemore. Reckless driver ditched us, dispatch. Pursuit is over. Hey, if you're cruising around the lake, could you pick up a car for me? A Buick Grand National. They wanted to see how fast it can go with a real driver behind the wheel. You know any? <laughs> wow, the dad joke energy is real today. Drop me a pin. Sure. A pin. Right. Send me the location. On it. And I'm pretty excited. The Regal from hell. Classic 80s muscle. My pop's dream car. He called it the Corvette Killer. So you better make him proud. No pressure. Hey, Speedy. We've got six. 
six days to get into the first qualifier. Let's make some cash and pimp this new ride up to spec. I hear you. Oh, and I've been doing some digging. Sounds like the Grand is gonna be four stages, four different vehicles. Four? Oh, so you're gonna loan me the money for those as well? Why is it starting to sound like a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Speedy! Trust issues much? Did someone hurt you in the prologue of your life? Wait, you've been digging into me too? Ah, game recognizes game. Don't worry, I'm working. Delivered, safe and sound. Pretty fast, not as fast as me, but... Anyway, customer said he would follow us on Insta. Do we have an Insta? Is that a coffee machine? Didn't Tess set one up? Where? In the kitchen? No, 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 no. It's a social media account. Oh, right, that at Mr. Rod thing. Hold on, okay, in. There's a video of a dog skateboarding and people eating dumplings out of expensive sneakers. Okay, I'll figure it out. Uh, no, she, wait, hold on, she saw a dog skateboarding? Not the point I was making. Later, kid. Yo! I'm gonna do a little digging about Yaz and the crew she's rolling with. I have a feeling she isn't the only one behind the grant. Really? Wow, um, wow, I'm curious, what gave it away? The huge prize money? Maybe she's been giving rides to randos for cash in your car. Anywho, I'm craving boba. Peace.
just pulled a Houdini at University Central. Find this racer at all costs. Calling it. Listening to news across the lake on KRS FM, the number one station. Coming up, more from our exclusive interview with Mayor Stevenson. I want to assure the people of Lakeshore that their safety is my first priority. Now, I know the increased police presence is affecting the day to day in Lakeshore, but trust me, I hear you. We are in this together. Some people think you're too focused on crime and not enough on the problems of everyday people. I would say crime is a problem for everyday people, wouldn't you? Just answer the question, Mayor.
Today at City Hall, Mayor Stevenson announced increased funding for the Lakeshore PD. Cars are causing havoc on our streets after last night's high-speed antics endangering the good citizens of Lakeshore, I'm pushing my no-nonsense-for-nonsense policy into action. Make sense? Nonsense. paying jobs if you're willing to get your hands dirty. Woo! A little extra cash wouldn't hurt. But Rydell doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Because that worked out so well last time. Hmm? The garage got jacked. And now I'm trying to win my, my car back. Any of this ring a bell? Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh, don't forget my cut. I don't want to have to break your thumbs. <laughs> JK, blood makes me squeamish. Well, I'm getting ramen and watching that new reality show where they put naked people on stage and make them sing for clothes. Season finale. <gasps> Maybe one of them will finally get socks. <laughs> See ya.
To go out there today. Not bad. Tess seems to be honest, so that's something. Good to hear. Okay, listen, you know Jasmine is gonna do anything it takes to win, right? Yeah, I kinda got that feeling. Okay, so make sure the car's performing. You gotta pimp it. Don't scrimp it. Pimp it, don't scrimp it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, improve the performance of the car and earn some money. Oh, no, no, I get it. I just hadn't really heard that before. Good, right? I might stick it on a t-shirt. Anyway, see you back at the garage. Whatever you say, Rydell. Dip Ford's Late Lake on KRS-FM, the number one station in the lake. That was KM with their new single, Tots Eclectic. Now I'm joined by Meryl Hopeful, Holden Parker III. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Simon. Dip. Oh, no, thank you. Not with my cholesterol. Right. So let's start with the news that Mayor Stevenson's been handing out city contracts to her nearest and dearest friends. Has she? Well, Someone should speak out against that, huh? Yes. Someone who's running against her in the upcoming election? Well, yes. You should get them on the show, Simon. Dip. Dip. Oh, go on. I've got a box of crackers somewhere. Let's take some calls.
I'm coming through. 